Hello, this is Brian with CH53 Gamer. Welcome back to Morrowind. Today, we start part two of a game I don't really know anything about. So, let's have some fun. Okay, so last time we talked to this guy, let's, you know, let's spin this talking to other people and see what they have to say. My time is precious. Now, let's see. Tolvis Othrullin. Uh, spacebar. Yes, okay, we got here. Well, hello, Daniel Jackson. I'm Tolvis o Othrullin. This is Saint Nanin, Swamp Fever Capital of the World. I suppose you're wondering what's going on here. I can tell you where those services are. There aren't many, and I can tell you the latest rumors, unless you were already hear them. Okay, so I can click, as we discovered last time, I can click these little blue things, uh, blue words, and we'll see what has to happen. So let's click those, and if I'll read anything that's interesting, and otherwise I'll just skip all, skip over all this. I'll, I'll briefly leave the words up, so if you really want to, you can, I guess, pause and read it. Uh, if not, just keep on going. Okay, latest services. Oh, okay. That's something. I heard there has been some trouble at Fort Frostmoth. Never heard of it. It's on an island called Solstheim, north of Varenfall. Oh, this is the DLC for the game that I haven't even played yet. So, yeah. DLC for a game I haven't played. Cool. Alright, Solstheim. From Skyrim. Not really from this game, but I'm in reverse order. Alright, Solstheim. That's the frozen island of the north, right? It sounds awful to me. If you're looking to get there, you might check for transportation in cool. Alright, journal of trade for both of them. All right, latest rumors. Got it. Services. Services. Okay. Uh, okay, just talking about stuff. She is a commoner. I already did cut. Oh, latest rumors. My cousin claimed he saw a rat in the city water near Narmok. He's a drunkard, though. Spends so much time in the sun. Advice. That's helping you out with your personality. Little secret. Break the law. Her trade. I am an outlander, even though I deliberately chose to be a Dunmer. It happens. Okay, so not too much from her. Let's walk around. Talk very so slow. And I read somewhere that if you steal from traders, they will never forgive you for the rest of the game. So we're not going to steal from this person. Let's see what this person wants. All right. Chris Carr Flatfoot. You look like he was a friend, outlander. Perhaps I could be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. Oh, a quest! All right, recover some gold. That's right. See, I had a ru bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just for the money the locals pay us for protection. But I know some of them are, are holding out on me, especially that little f fetcher, Irgoth. He's come out up light in the last couple weeks when I've asked when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth. Not Irgoth. That looks like an E. Fargoth's hiding place. I am Fargoth's friend, okay? I'm just going to put that out right now. Uh, Fargoth's hiding place. I know the little fetcher's got one somewhere here in town, just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's hiding, not hiding it there. i like to find out where he's stashing his gold. If you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up to it? Uh, I will say yes, and then try to find Fargoth and let him know. Alright, my eternal has been uh, updated. Excellent, here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. That will give you a nice view of all Satan and Neen. If you keep an eye where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding his gold. Okay, journal entry has been updated. Solstheim? Nothing really. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's, let's find that journal. Where is that journal? Is it... Oh, it is J. Okay, cool. Uh, previous. So, this game doesn't have quest markers. Uh, we've got to read the journal and figure out where to go from there. Yeah, Fargoth. I already helped Fargoth out. Uh, gave him back his ring. And then here's where we get to Solstheim. Uh, apparently Fort Frostmoth. I heard about that just a moment ago. And then here's all the stuff with uh, Fargoth. So we should c go on with that. Let's see. Anyone else in here? Like Raflod, the oh. braggart. Uh, yes. So, Daniel Jackson, you're new to St. Nain, and you'd like some help finding your way around. Very sensible. Go ahead. Ask away. Looking for services. Suspicious places. Someone in particular. Just need a little advice. Whatever it is, happy to help. All right. I'll click each of these buttons. Anything interesting, I'll show it. Otherwise, skipping all that. Okay. So, this guy can train us. Uh, if I'd, Oh, yeah. He can train me on medium armor, longbow, or block. Uh, I'm not going to do any of that, but he can do it. Also, I can't afford it. But... It's there and available if I look at it. He also says something about geographic regions. So this geographic region, I don't think, was here earlier, and it got added when I got to this blue word. So let's click that and see what happens. Oh, they're talking about the geography of Verdenfall. 
All right, Varnfall has nine regions, each with their own plants and terrain. They're called the Ascadian Isles, the Ashlands, Azuras Coast, the Bitter Coast, the Grayslands, Molag, Amur, Red Mountain, West Gash, and Sheogorad. Keep on clicking. All right, so we find out about Silt Striders. They have the fast travel system for the game. Uh, there's no fast travel in the game, but you can use Silt, Silt Striders. You know, like the cart, uh, the wagon in Skyrim, something like that. Yeah, uh, I should stop comparing this game to Skyrim. All right, so I read all those, but I'm just going to cut it out, uh, cut that part out because you know, no sense in wasting your time with what I'm reading. But uh, it's, I guess, readily available on the internet. I haven't researched Morrowind really, but you know, you always can. Uh, if any more people to talk to. Yep, uh, Tandram Andalin. And let's see, just, I'll just click through. If uh, I talk to this guy, if uh, if there's anything important, I'll show it. Otherwise, oh, I, there's no training for this guy either. I'll keep on going. I'm missing tax collector. Okay, that's interesting. But it didn't give me a journal entry. He recommends to carry some potions. Always a good idea. Okay, so, so much for them. Let's see. Albesius Colonia. Colol... Cololius. Man, these names are hard. Okay, Minter's Ring and a Tomb Along the Bitter's Coast. That's something to look out for. Didn't give you a journal entry, though. Okay, this guy recommends eating some food to get fatigue back. It also talked about major skills. You know, a little metagame there. No big deal. Okay, I did notice that this guy and a different one you can click on my trade. And it sells specifically the skills that he likes to use. So, you know, good information if you ever want to think about that. Uh, Elone. Let's talk to her. Oh, she's got a lot of stuff. Uh, go ahead. You're not interrupting anything. I'm Elone. Scout. You need directions. Belia, Belagiad, Balmora, Caldera, Ebonheart, Vivek. Oh, she's giving me directions to all these places. And she's a trainer. Let's see what she can do. Uh, Shervers Refusal. You must be misinformed. I don't offer services to the public. Okay, so I have to do something to make her like me. I don't even know what she can train. All right, let's click. Oh, my gosh. We're going to click every single one of these. Cut it out. Unless it's important. She's in the blades. Okay. In the blades. Yes. Okay. Balmora. I have to get to Balmora to turn in my quest to the person. I've forgotten the name. But his name but he is in my journal. So it's fine. And she added her directions to Balmora in my journal. So a lot of these are word-for-word -word repeats of something I read earlier. Obviously going to cut all of that out. That's right, so interesting information about Vivek. It's always worth knowing. Okay, so talk to some people. I did get one journal entry. Got some possible quests without journal entries. Uh, Ariel might have maps. Let's see what he says about maps. I did see something about maps. Let's go with Barter. Service. I have to get rid of the moon sugar. Okay, you know what? I will talk. I will worry about my bar my maps later. All right, so let's walk around Wharf St. Denis. Oh, and it's raining. Okay, there's a lot of people at St. Denis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to all of them. I'm going to search all the buildings uh, that I can. And if I see anything interesting, I'll show it. Otherwise, no sense in showing just a bunch of people saying the same stuff. Okay, so like this dock right here, you have to have lock level 45 to get into. Uh, I do not, so we're just going to see what else there is to say. See, I mean, these guys are guards, so we're just going to ignore them. And I want to see if there's anybody else in town worth talking to. Oh, wait a minute, it's Fargoth! Should I warn Fargoth that someone's trying to get, get uh, someone's trying to spy on him? So in particular, Fargoth's hiding place, yes. Uh, far hiding place. I don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. So I can't warn him that someone is trying to do it. I've got to find his far hiding place that might say something. Okay. Someone in particular. Nope, he's just saying goodbye. He's straight up saying goodbye. Um, yep, okay. Uh, so don't say Harbox. Someone in particular. Nope, okay. So nothing here. I can't warn him yet. So let's keep looking. Okay, so I walked around saying the knee for a bit. And it appears that every every building is a house, and everyone doesn't really have anything else interesting to say except for this lighthouse right here. I haven't been to it yet, so let's go look at that right now. 
Okay, so here we go. Getting up to the lighthouse. Uh, lighthouse, let's go inside. Okay, anything of notes? Let's see. Thaver Vedrano. Hello, Dan well, hello, Daniel Jackson. I'm Thaver Veldrano. This is Satan Nadine, Swamp Fever Capital of the World. I suppose you're wondering what's going on here. I can tell you where the services are. There aren't many, but I can tell you the latest rumors. Unless you've already unless you you already hear them. Uh, you know, I do believe I already heard everything. Let's look at rumors just in case. Um Yep, yep. Uh, so nothing new here. Alright. Uh search and see if there's anything worth getting. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is stealing because it's not marked in red. So you know what it's time to do? It is time to proceed to Balmora. Yes. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I have to wait until midnight, I think. Yes, look at the journal. Keep an eye on him from atop the lighthouse in town. Okay, that's right. That's why I was supposed to go to the lighthouse. Because of uh, old Fargoth there, who I tried to warn, but there's no option to warn him. So, what time is it? Uh, it is 5 p.m. Resting here is illegal. You need to find a bed. So let's go upstairs to the top of the lighthouse and look and see if we can see what Fargoth is doing. Because I figure I might as well do the quest that's say I need before I move on to Bal uh, Balmora. Yes, indeed. So, to the top of the lighthouse. And somebody cleared their throat. Not sure who. Probably a guard. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I'm not really sure what stuff in here is stealing, what stuff is not. Because it's, it's uh, they didn't mark it in red. Back in 2002, that's more of an Oblivion Skyrim thing. Okay, let's see. Top of the lighthouse. There it is. Now, where is Fargoth? We'll just sit here and wait. Can I wait? Resting here is illegal. It is 6 p.m. Cancel. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. It's obviously night now. Uh, at least uh, around 10 p.m. That's cool. Um, and that might be Fargoth right there. I'm not really sure. If that isn't Fargoth, this is going to be very embarrassing. I wonder, because I did find that earlier. Um, yes, yeah, so let's... It didn't... My, my journal didn't update. My journal didn't update. I wonder if that's Fargoth. I don't know. Let's go find out. If not, I'm just going to load the game, and that'll happen. So here we go. I found this earlier. Hollow tree. Yes! Look at all this stuff. Uh, the Ring of Healing. I'm going to take all that. Cool. All right, so did my journal update. Uh, I found Gar- Okay, it did it! It never said journal updates. I found Fargoth and Fargoth's hidden step. He keeps it in a hollow tree stump in a muck pond in town. Okay, so now we're gonna find the guy, or go find Fargoth. Um, which one? I like Fargoth, but if I can't find him, I'm just gonna tell the guy, because, you know, impatience. Alright, is that Fargoth right there? That kinda looks like Fargoth. He's like, you know, strutting. Get out of the way, guard. Make it I'm an outlander, even though I'm a, I'm a... Is that Fargoth? Yes, it is. Hey, Fargoth, what's up? Uh, uh, Fargoth's hiding place. Hiding place? I don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone. Goodbye. All right, Fargoth, uh, I can't help you, dude. I'm going to go clear the... Do it the other way, then. Because maybe there's only one way to do this quest. I don't know, uh, and I'm not going to spend... Sorry, too much time to figure it out. So let's go talk to this other person. Get out of the way, guards! Ah, here he is. We're supposed to find Fargoth's hiding place. Were you able to? Fargoth's hiding place. You found his hiding place? That's great. Tell you what. I'll give you 100 gold and you can keep anything else you found in there. Thanks for your help. 300 gold has been removed from inventory. 100 gold has been added to your inventory. My journal's been updated. Uh, that feels like it wasn't a good deal for me. J for journal. 
Uh, Harris Carr is grateful that I found the money that Fargoth has been hiding. He has rewarded me with some gold and told me I could keep anything else I found in the bag besides the money he wanted. That's cool. Where was that magic apparel? Ah, here we go. The engraved ring of healing. Let's put that on. Sure, why not? Uh, slaves left bracer, slaves right bracer. Oh, I'm supposed to sell those! That's right. Okay, let's go downstairs. And I have to drop my moon sugar and drop my skooma because, you know, that's what that is. So let's do that real quick. Okay, now let's talk to this guy. And Sparter, yes. Okay, we want to get rid of the slaves. Yep. Bracers, yep. Get all those. Okay, I think I'm good. Offer, yes. And I made more gold. All right, there we go. I think I... Oh, i got to pick this stuff up for I get it. Yeah, I think I've done what there is to do in Satan and Neen. Time to go to Balmora. Uh, everyone recommends that I take the Silt Strider there. Naturally, I am going to walk. Because, you know, just because. Okay, so walking here, we got to find the Balmora sign. There it is, Balmora. So we just follow this road... And we'll get to Balmora, and we'll find the signs, and I think there were other directions. Yes, alone at RL's Trade House gave me detailed directions to Balmora. Uh, they're not in my journal. I will Google it, because I did get them in-game, so it's not cheating. Alright, so, following the road, and if anything happens, I'll show it, and I'll show the important decision points. From that, it's going to be a nice, long, slow walk there. So, uh, showing important things when they happen and skipping the important stuff when it's not. So, see you around. And I'll update every now and then as you're going along. There's the Silt Strider I'm not going to take. And, I see, yep, this is the road. You can see it just going along. So, moving on. Very quick update. Got to the end of the road. There's the Silt Strider. Taking a left. On the bottom right of the screen, you can see a small mini-map showing that I'm heading northwest. There is a much larger map right here, and a world map right there. Ah, oh, yes, this is uh, little markers that show up. Oh, I guess the, when, I, when I had people talk about things, they showed up here. Yes, this is Balmora. There it is. So I need to get, I'm probably going to, yeah, there's like you can see the map, mountain path through the Balmora right there. So that's where we're going. All right, so coming up just a little bit further down, um, well, I'll, I'll take all this stuff real quick, and then I right, stop to talk because there's a sign right here. So let's see what we got here. Uh, La Oad, Narmak, Sedanin, Ebenhart, Balmora, Vivek, and Pelagiad. We just keep on going. So if we were to go to uh, Ebenhart, we'd follow this little path. Otherwise, we're going to continue on this way to the northeast, it looks like. Yes, continuing on. All right, just a little bit further down, and what do we got here? That looks like an enemy of some type. Let's get, yep, yeah, let's get that out. That's how we attack. Yep, what is this? The Escadian Isles region. It is attacking, whatever it is. We'll attack it, hit it back. There we go, and kill it. It is a Kwama Forager. Kwama Forager, and it has nothing. Dispose of the corpse. That way it respawns, and we can do stuff if we need to. All right, let's see. Uh, got another little uh, sign, Balmora, yep. Keep going on the same way we're supposed to. And if we wanted to go to Ebenhart or Vivek, we could follow that road. Instead, we're going to follow this road to Balmora. But first, I did see a plant right here. We're going to see what the plants are, you know, because alchemy ingredients are money. Yes, they are. Okay, so I've got some things to sell. I'm continuing on to Balmora. Okay, on the way to Balmora, just past this, the sign is right. I just passed. It's right there, I think. It's kind of hard to see. There's a cave. We're going to go check it out, obviously. All right. Let's see what cave this is. This is a Andrano Ancestral Tomb. Hmm. Grave robbing. Always a bad idea, but we're going to go in and do it. Let's see what we got here. We've got a dead body. Okay. A Chitin Dagger. Yep. I, oh, man, I could have not bought the Iron Cure. Oh, well. Iron right Bracer. Uh, all some stuff to sell. And obviously the gold. And I can hear the effects of, like, of bugs, I guess. Uh, let's see. Right Iron Bracer. 
Yep, got more. Uh, right, iron gauntlets. Uh, the bracers 11, the gauntlets 11. Conditions 50 out of 50. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have this just in case. I'm just gonna hold on to it. Why not? All right. So a dead body. Someone's tomb. An urn. Are these search? Yes, they are searchable. Uh, bone meal. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take all that. Yep. Gonna take all that. And I guess this one is searchable as well. Gonna take that. There we go. Okay. What do we got in here? A wooden door. Okay. I hear something. Oh, I'm getting attacked. No effect. No. Okay. I figured out what's going on. These are ghosts, and I don't have a magic weapon, so there's nothing I can do. So we're getting out of here, and we'll come back to this. This. Uh, we'll come back to the tomb later when I get a magic weapon, and I hope. I hope that the ghosts aren't going to leave the tomb to attack me. Okay, so don't go in the tombs and worry about ghosts till I'm strong enough to take care of them. That is good to know. And we'll continue on to Balmora. And I think let's try let's try to say resting here is illegal. I'm too close to someone's. Okay, I, I guess I'm close to Pelagiad. I guess very well. Better this time. I do record this in small bursts, and then this is what I got, and unless it's extremely bad, I stick with it. I noticed my voice is faint last time, but unfortunately, I don't think it was that bad, so I'm not going to re-record anything because uh, I'm pretty busy, so no reason to re-record something unless it's just, like, really unusable. Well, anyway, continuing on to uh, Balmora. I do notice that some of the uh, trees are trees, and sometimes it's giant mushrooms. That's a cool Morrowind thing. I remember seeing that in the Elder Scrolls Online. So, yay. Um, I'm sure that was a callback to some people. For me, it's a reverse. Reverse callback. Yes. Okay, we've followed the road. There's another sign coming up. Um, and I see some, some buildings right there. I think that's probably Pelagiad. Pelagiad? Let's see if I'm getting the name correctly. If I can get close enough to read it. Yeah, Pelagiad. But I'm going to continue to battle more. Although Caldera is now added on the sign. I do know uh, Vivek and... Yep, yeah, Ebonard behind us. I do know, and say the need, I do know that Pelagiad is somewhere I eventually want to go. But today, all about today, is making it to Balmora. Alright, so Balmora signed. Uh, letting us go this way. Oh, look at the moons! Yes! The night, the sky, like I said, 2002 game. They did a really good job in 2002 with the graphics of this game. you got to judge it based on the time, not based on modern standards. I like kind of like this sky. It's really nice. I should look at this sky more often at Skyrim and Oblivion. I rarely play Oblivion though. Continuing on to Balmora. Okay, approaching the next fork in the road. Haven't encountered anything yet. There's a small signpost. I think this is the other side of Pelagiad. Uh, Pelagiad back road. So it's the back way and the main road to get there. And then of course Balmora. Continuing on. So yeah, you can get to Pelagiad two different ways. And I'll check that town out. Uh, some point in the future, yeah, at some point we will go check out Pelagiad and see what they have to offer. And as you're walking along in the bottom left, your uh, fatigue just is continuously going down. And you have to stop and just let it recharge. Because if you don't let it recharge and you attack somebody and you have no fatigue, you're going to miss. I have noticed that. Uh, health and magic do not regenerate in this game. And that was a difference because in Oblivion, they made magic regenerate. And in Skyrim, they made all three regenerate. So as the progress, series progressed, they decided to make it a little easier every time for players. Uh, so we'll just let the, health regen uh, the fatigue regenerate, and then we'll continue on to Balmora. Excellent. All right, and on the way. Okay, up there is something else. I wonder if it's a tomb. If it's a tomb, it's funny because I'm going out of my way to discover these tombs and stuff. And yet, when it comes to f time to find, oh, okay, look, it's exploring the world. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna av avoid the city and search the uh, search the tombs and the caves because you know why not? Just because. No particular reason. Okay, let's see what this is. I might not go in if it's a tomb. I'm not gonna go in because it'll be ghosts. It is. Ulumusa, Ulumsa, Ulumsa, Ulumusa. Let's go with that. Okay. Yep, this doesn't look creepy at all. Spear out. Uh, sneak? How do I sneak? Yes, I hold down the control key to sneak. I don't have much sneak skill, 
But hey, this will help level sneak skill as I'm going along. I will suffer greatly. Okay, who is this? Who is this? I will suffer greatly. Whoever it is is attacking me. There is no escape. Okay, they, they've hit me a couple times. I haven't gotten to them yet. Oh, wow, there you are. They are really winning. Okay, okay, let's try, let's try to... Okay. Um, that is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Uh, let's back up. Okay, they got me. Okay. Definitely want to load a save game. Okay, so that guy was pretty strong. You know what? No need. I don't need to go in there, Ulamusa. Let's let's get it, let's get it discovered, and uh, I'll come back later when I'm stronger. Let's get a full set of armor, get some web, more weapons, and adjust a spear, and come back here. Something to check out later on in the game. Continuing on to Balmora. Okay, so coming up to another fork in the road, and there is a con another convenient signpost. So, let's see what we got here. Vivek, Pelagia, Balmora. We want to go to the right. I don't know what's to the left. Nothing's to the left. There is no sign. Something else to check out later on. Most definitely. And I was going to sit here and wait, and there's a person right there. So, yes, let's find out what this person wants. They don't, they're not attacking. I don't think they, they probably, they have to see me. But they, uh, let's see who this is. Okay, uh, running up, might as well get there faster, use some fatigue, uh, increase my athletics, which has not increased yet, and talk to, what can I do for you, friend? Mario Aramin, Aramine. Uh, begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit near, nearby? I must find him. My journal's been updated. Bandit nearby, you say? Yes, I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf, a strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way, though he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. Uh, well, I think that, that sounds like harm. Jewels? Uh, let's see here. What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny. I simply must see him again. His name? Nelos. Nelos Onmar, a name that will stay on my lips for eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me, please. I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return, but you could not, not only help me for the sake of love. Uh, okay, so she's in love with the person that robbed her. Cool. Uh, I will try and find this man, if only for love's sake. There you go. You'll try? Thank you so. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having, having having to head north, so I imagine he might be found in Pelagia. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me as a token of my love. I am certain he will want to find me again. Your journal has been updated. Morio's left glove have been added to your inventory. Okay. So, Pelagia, she said to the north, but I'm pretty sure Pelagia is to the south. It is the south. We now have reason to go to Pelagia to find this person because I have... This woman's left glove, and it should be in my inventory. And let's see here, apparel. There it is. Now, here's the problem. I'm pretty sure I can either drop or sell this glove. I've got to make sure I don't sell that glove because I have to, as per this little day three round on the, on the road, I have to sell, give this woman's glove to uh, the dark elf, Nelos. And she has a Breton. So, let's try not to lose that glove until we find old, uh, Mar what's his name, Nelos, somewhere in the future. And continuing on to Pelagiad. And I just said continuing on to Pelagiad, I obviously meant to say continuing on to Belmora. Okay, so there's a little fork in the road, no sign, so I'm assuming that's the main way, because this way leads to yet another cave. So save the game and check the cave out, because it's not a city. And we'll check out caves, but not cities, on the way to Belmora. Okay, moving right in. Is this tree? It is. Oh, wait, wait. It is. Comberry, Com obviously. Continuing on. All right, so what is this place named? This place is named Adon... Adon Umaran. Adon Umaran. Yes, they, they like to make the names hard in this game, don't they? All right, let's check out Adon Umaran. Get the weapon out. Into Adon Umaran. Uh, a trapped... A, ca a worn cave door. Trapped. Um, 
Open it. It tried to back away. That did not work. A ward came to work. Okay, I set off the trap. And it's a Nyx Hound. Uh, my spirit skill increased. And I killed the Nyx Hound. Okay, cool. That is a, a skill increase. And a Nyx Hound dead. It's got Hound Okay. What is this? There's, there's a person up there. Okay, a person up there. Sniff. Uh, I assume you're hostile because I tried to kill your dog and you tried to kill me. Okay, what is going on? Why can I open this door? Open it. There you go. Old gate. Why can I? Get out of the way! Okay, there you go. Oh my gosh! You killed me in a second. Okay, so I think I have to get stronger. Let's level. Let's let's look at the caves, but we'll come back in the caves after we level up. Yes, let's do that. Okay, back. My spill spirit has not increased, but I know it's close. So the next time we find an enemy, which I've only encountered one random enemy on the way there. That makes Morrowind kind of safe. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, we'll get a spear increase. And continuing on uh, with our quest to level up. Uh, I haven't looked at that well. I actually don't think I've increased any major skills at all. I kind of wonder if I made it, maybe made a mistake in making my skill choices. Uh, but I'll have to just, you know, grind it out to get the, get the level up. Because I don't think I've done any skill increases at all. All right, continuing on to Balmora. And when I said skill increases, I meant major skill increases. I've had a few minor increases, much like uh, Oblivion. If you want to efficiently level, you need to get uh, 10 skill increases in three different things and level up three of your skills. Unless you want to level up luck, and in which case you only want to get 20 increases. And of those 20 or 30, 10 of them need to be in major or minor skills. And then the other rest need to be in miscellaneous skills. And that will be your most... Oh, uh, athletics just went up. There you go. That is a miscellaneous skill for me, athletics. And I'm glad to know it went up. And my fatigue is down, so let's, uh, let's save the game and let the fatigue go up and continue on. All right, so there we go. The fatigue is back all the way. And I'm following the road some more, and I see some signs up there. So something is going this way. Something is going this way. There is an enemy right there. So you know what? I'll come back to the sign in a minute. Let's go kill this enemy. I uh, gotta get that spear increase that I lost when I died, and then didn't load the, and then didn't go back into the cave. All right, so the guy here got a hit. Ah, oh, there's a spear to 13. Okay, perfect. So the spear is up, and this thing is dead. Quama Forager. Uh, let's go into that, and we'll take the cur the Quama Cuddle and dispose of the corpse. That way it'll respawn. So let's run back here, and let's look and see what this sign has to say. I think the road I was on is actually the actual road to Balmora. Um, so let's see what we got here. Go Balmora, yes! Up that way. Ghost Gate. That sounds ominous. Pelagiad, yep. Mount Cand, Molagmar, and Saran. So, on to Balmora. Up that way. Having fought one enemy, and gotten Spear up to... That's three increases on Spear. That's three for the... Uh, for my attributes. So, like I said earlier, I think I said skills instead of attributes, but it's... If you increase, uh three sets of skills, ten increases that govern the attributes, you can increase the attribute by five if you get ten skill increases. And Spear covers Endurance, which is my, which determines my max HP. Oh, there's another enemy right there. Okay. I hope this is the right way. Let's get this enemy up. Uh, so I want to get between Heavy Armor and Spear, and Medium Armor, I want to get uh, ten increases. And Heavy Armor and Medium Armor I designated as Minor and Major skills. So that will help me uh, level up as well. Um, and everything else, I don't even remember what uh, unarmed, unarmored, and um, so athletics increase, but they increase the same thing. I think it's speed. So I want to get the speed up. That speed and endurance I've so far started to increase for this first level. Uh, but we still got a ways to go because I have increased zero major and minor skills, so I'm not anywhere closer to leveling up, actually. Uh, and there's a rat up there. Okay. So let's go kill this rat. Nice walking towards instead of running towards. Let my, let my fatigue slowly re recharge. And already we've encountered a couple enemies here uh, with uh, in this little area. The, the, the terrain looks different. So I'm already fighting a more dangerous area of Morrowind than I was earlier. A giant rat. Nothing. Dispose of the corpse. And I dispose of the corpses so the enemies will respawn. And I get, up, get more opportunity to get uh, the Molag Umbora region. More opportunity to get uh, level ups and skill increases and so forth. And I wonder if... Okay, good. I got, good. Oh, Spear out to 14. Okay, cool. So just like that, it's uh, gone up twice in the last couple moments. 
And I think that's four increases total for, for the spear, which would be four increases for my endurance, which is perfect. All right, so that's what we got here. Uh, Vivek, Pelagiad, Balmora. Okay, I went down the wrong path. I went down the wrong path uh, and came up here. And I didn't need to come up here, but I did get a couple of rats kills, and I got a spear increase. So we're going to walk back down, go to the other side set we saw a moment ago, and figure out the proper way to go for pillage. And, and something else. Ah! Another, another, another a flying enemy! What is this? I don't know. Uh, I've already hit it once. Arc. Okay, uh, this is not good. Okay, good. I got a hit. Got a hit in. Good. Got a hit in. Okay, he, okay we're, we're slowly winning. Slowly winning. Yes, slowly winning. Slowly winning. Some sort of, okay, good, good, good. It's, he's hitting me a couple times, but that's all right. That's, that's some heavy armor hits. Some heavy armor skills increases. Uh, okay, good. One more hit. One more hit. Good, he's dead. Okay, what was that? It's a cliff racer. Cliff racer. And I got the racer plumes. Yes, this was that corpse as well. Uh, let's put this away, and let's check this out. So heavy armor. That's what I'm wearing. That's what I'm wearing. Okay, I'm halfway to my first skill increase for heavy armor. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It just means let's save the game. This is definitely a more dangerous reason of Morrowind. Okay, that just means that I am uh, that'll be halfway to my first major or minor skill in skill increase. Uh, and let's see what else I got here. I uh, bought a sword, which is Long's Blade, right there, which is strength. I need to get an axe. Yes, an axe. I need to do some hand to hand. Yes, uh, and some blunt. I need to get a, an axe and a blunt weapon and hand to hand, and start doing that after I get you know ensure. That I get my skill, my, my 10 skill increases on, um, with, for, for endurance, because I do want to get the maximum HP. Uh, so let's see. Uh, going back down this way, and hopefully I didn't get lost again, because I already went down the wrong path once. And that let me up into the mountains, into a different region, which is a more dangerous region. I need to look at the, at this, at this sign over here somewhere, and figure out where Balmora is, because I got turned around. And Balmora was the other way. So that's the signpost right there. I just got to look at the sign and go the proper way to go to Balmora, not the improper way. Because I definitely went that way, and I think I was supposed to probably end up going that way. But I'll look at the sign real quick, and then I'll know for sure. And Saran. Okay, Balmora. I needed to go that way. I went that way. I needed to go that way. Yes, let's make sure. Balmora. Yes, this way. This is the correct way to go. And I'll sit here and let my fatigue increase. Actually, let's let time increase. Yes, I can rest. Let's rest and heal healed. Because my health is halfway gone. And it worked! Yay! Okay, moving on to Balmora. And so very slowly walking, uh, my fatigue does not go down. Hold down the shift key and I run. Oh, and look, that creature respawned. I don't even know if it's the same one or not. Uh, but that means my fatigue goes down. But that also means that my athletics goes up. And that is a skill increase. Let's beat this forager. And he got me a hit. But that's all right. Kwama forager. Uh, I got him. We're going to take all that. And we're going to dispose of the corpse. Perfect. And move it on up. And so now I can continue going to Belmora. And we'll see if anything else interesting occurs. Otherwise, let's just keep on going. Let's do a look at the map. Let's look at the map. The world map. Okay, I am... Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. The Mon... Moon Moth Legion Fort. Uh, I'll pass by it next. And then I'll be at Balmora. Perfect. Okay, so coming down here. Just a little bit further. And there's another... Ooh, okay, there's an enemy up there. Let's see what we got here. We got Vivek, Pelagiat, Ghostgate, Balmora, Kelder. Okay, Enemy's coming. Let's fight this guy. Okay, he's jumping all over the place. I got some hits in. I'm winning. I'm definitely winning. Bam, yeah, just get a, get a good spear hit in. Ow, what was that? Was that a block? It can't be a block. His spear increased to 15. Excellent. So my spear is going up nice. All I gotta do is fight things. My spear goes up. Look at that. All right, let's put the spear away. Uh, okay, that way is some direction, but I think... Balmora is this way. Yes. And there is... Okay, I just fell down. Okay? And there is no no sign saying what's that way, so we'll figure it out later. We'll continue going this way. Okay? Moving on. And just a little bit up the road, a little bit from that last sign, is another signpost. And I like this sign. This, is, this makes it a lot... It's a lot different way to play, to have signposts telling you which way to go. Uh... Vivek and Pelagiad, Balmora and Caldera, and Ghostgate. Okay, so Balmora is this way. It, but rather than 
like having to actually pay attention to what's going on, read directions, uh, and pay attention to your surroundings rather than a quest marker. This, this is really different and weird, but it's reverse different and weird. This used to be the norm. This used to be the way to play, and we've gotten lazier since then. Um, and it's kind of fun so far. Um, I think this is probably Fort Moon Moth. Certainly looks like it. Moon Moth, Legion Fort. Yep, Pelagiad, Caldera, and Belmar. Now, I bet if we walked in there, probably some ways to join the Imperial Legion. Uh, there's the Skyrim symbol. It's actually not the Skyrim symbol. It's the Empire symbol, but I saw it in Skyrim, so I, probably, I associate it with the Skyrim symbol. Uh, we're going to sit here, let uh, fatigue fill up, and then we're going to go this way. Because there it is, Valmora is that way. Excellent. All right, so continuing on, got healed up, and on to Valmora. I wonder if these ingredients that I'm collecting, that I'm going to sell and not use, ever re respawn. I just don't know. Um, the Skyrim office, they do, but this game, you never know. You never know what they decided to add. Okay, Chokewood, Valmora. Pelagiad, Caldera. That is Chokewood. Uh, Chokewood is not the name of a place. It is the name of a, of a plant. Belmore. This way. All right. Continuing on to Belmore. All right. I am approaching this bridge up here. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's look at the map. Okay. I'm very close to Belmore. And this is... I like how it fills in with the, like, the kind of terrain it is as you're going on. And then the local map right there. This is all very good stuff. Okay. So moving on to Belmore. Uh, okay. Yes. That's Belmore right there. Uh, let's see here. There's a town. Walls. Walking over the water in these two little double bridges. Now, oh, there's a Silt Strider. Okay. This is where I would have come in if I fast traveled. I would have popped him right here. And with this, I wonder if this sign says Balmora. It should. Welcome. It just says welcome. So this is Balmora. I've been welcomed to Balmora. Okay. So I've arrived at Belmora, and I did it by walking all along this area. I saw Pelagiad. I saw Fort Monmouth, a couple places to check out. I also saw a couple of other paths that weren't, uh, that didn't have a sign. So at one point I had to get through there. I did go into one cave, and then there were some ghosts, so I turned around and ran away. And then I went to two caves and died. I got some skill increases. So I think this is a good time to call it in to part two. A nice short part, not really much happened, but in part three, we'll be all about uh, exploring Balmora. So thank you very much for uh, joining me today. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And any comments are always appreciated. Thank you very much, and goodbye.